Hi, my speech today is on seat belts on school buses. On December 5th, 2013, my 11 year old son, Daniel, I put him on the school bus, which had been running late that day. And within five minutes, he was killed in the crash. The school bus came to a stop on Deer Flat Road and the bus driver was running late that day. She was stressed. She just pulled out and didn't look. The school bus was hit by a dump truck. And as you can see, the impact on the back of the bus. My son sat in the back of the bus. If he would have had a seatbelt on, he would be alive today. There were 12 children on that bus that day. My son was the only one who was fatally injured. Blunt force trauma to the head. Other children on the bus were injured. One young man, his name is Gavin, he was lost the hearing in his right ear from the impact of the collision. The other students were traumatized to the point where they could no longer step foot on a school bus again. S seat belts should be on every school bus in the United States. Every student in the country deserves a good education, and in order to do that, they must get there safely. As a mother of the second child to be killed in the school bus crash in Idaho, I can speak from experience that no parent should have to go through the pain and heartache that I have experienced. We do have laws for seat belts on the smaller buses, but not on the bigger buses. They are supposed to be designed to, to be safe in an impact. According to the National Conference of the State Legislation, the only states that currently have school bus seat belt laws is Arkansas, California, Florida, Louisiana, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, and Texas. How many children die each year? What is the average on a school bus crash? And the average is six. How many children are injured each year in school bus crash? The average is over 17,000 children go to the emergency room because of injuries on the school bus. What are the benefits of having seatbelts on the school bus other than the fact that Safety is number one. My son would be alive if there were seatbelts on that bus. The other thing they have found is it helps the school bus driver to be able to focus on the driving, not having so much discipline problems. Children are assigned, they're strapped in, they're not hopping around on the seat and causing havoc on the bus. So we have this, this discipline issue that is not there when they have seat belts. We do understand that the cost is a major factor. I do know that Idaho legislator was asked the day after my son's crash, can will Idaho put seat belts on school buses? And the first thing out of their mouth is, we need to see if it's cost effective. Is it cost effective? Is it to save a child's life. This, I know I'm emotionally involved in this, but a child's life, what is the value? Is there a value? Now, as your average parent, my child's priceless. But we do understand that it is an expense that not all school districts have the money for. The cost to install those on existing buses is between $7,000 to $15,000. Most good can't afford that. They're struggling just to keep teachers for the schools. In my opinion, I do understand the cost factor. I also understand that if you put seat belts on a school bus, it's gonna limit the seating for the children. Because currently, on overcrowded schools means overcrowded suit school buses. So the fact that if you can't have four to a seat, you have to have two 
maybe three, depending on the age of the child. And I understand they can't afford that. School districts just don't have the money. States don't have the money. Where do the money come from? We know it comes from the property owners, property taxes. That's where the money comes for the schools. And I know we can't tax any more for that. But we must start somewhere for the safety of the kids. We must start somewhere. We should have laws stating now new buses when they're built. Seat belts are installed. It's a start. More states are changing the law to have eliminate this. But the bottom line is, as a parent who's lost a child in a school bus crash, I don't want any other parent to have to go through this. I don't want them to say, what if? What if there were seatbelts on that bus? Then my child would not be injured. My child would be alive. My son would be to die alive today if there were seatbelts on his bus. Thank you.